the beauty of Ivozovsky that uh, uh, make me like him, his, his brush is, uh, is exceptional and, and he had prizes from Turner, from all kind of uh, important artists in his lifetime. So Jenny, you've been collecting paintings by Ivozovsky for over four decades now, um, but do you remember the first painting that you ever saw? I do remember, uh, it was when I was 16 and uh, was in my landlord's uh, house. She had this beautiful painting on the wall and uh, I was amazed uh, of, of, of the beauty of the painting and she told me that was by an artist called Ivozovsky. I fell in love straight away. A romantic passion that's continued Absolutely. on for decades. It's for decades, wonderful. For decades, so, yeah. what actually prompted you to write about Ivozovsky? This uh, first appro approach of mine with Ivozovsky uh, gave me a lifelong studies on, on the painter, and uh, obviously I was suitable for that because I study art and conservation, and uh, for me it was quite easy to understand uh, his uh, brush and everything, and then to helping other people for that as an expert. So helping to bring his, his work um, to, to a wider audience. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It's about 12 years ago since you mm. published Sea Cities and Dreams, yes. your first book on, on yeah. the artist together yeah. with uh, Ivan Samarin, yeah. which has been enormously popular. Yeah. And I just wondered what, what has promoted this second volume? The love for Ivazovsky around the world is, is quite huge. So uh, we couldn't disappoint the uh, art lovers to, to, to have a, a second book on Ivazovsky. And this time I think it will be something different than the first and maybe the surprise is better to see, not to tell about the <laughs> coming book. They were waiting for the second one basically, everyone was waiting, so we had to do it <laughs> and we did it.